Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. And today we're going to be using QGIS again to solve a common problem. This problem, you know, uh, it's not only for geologists or mining engineers or people working in the mining industry. It's, you know, a common problem that you might face as an individual. And I'm going to show you what is exactly the problem and how to solve that using this free software. But before we dive into uh, this, uh, I wanted to let you know that 80% of the people watching my videos are not actually subscribers. So if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber and you're someone interested in GIS tools, mining packages, and geology in general, this channel is for you so make sure to subscribe this is going to encourage me to you know post more videos and also I promised uh, you know uh, my followers on Facebook and uh, people who about my courses or whatever that I will consider you know uh, posting my current courses that are paid courses on YouTube for free if we reach like uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers uh, and I always keep my promises so make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me for more so without further ado let's get to the problem so as a geologist you might find yourself in remote areas and sometimes you take pictures and I know that this job is stressful and you might uh, sometimes forget your GPS, for example, or uh, the battery uh, of the GPS uh, is just discharged and you find yourself in the middle of nowhere taking pictures, but then you go back to the office and how are you going to locate that, that picture, that outcrop that you took a picture of and uh, you find yourself lost and uh, you don't know how to correlate the pictures and how to describe the data that you got so this is something really bad but there is something that might save you so sometimes you know not sometimes like if if you have a smartphone and the the GPS you know uh, is turned on in your uh, in your device you don't have like you you don't need access to the internet you, you just need your GPS to be turned on because there's a, you know, an integrated GPS in your smartphone that records that records the coordinates inside the the picture itself, the location of that picture. So we call these geotagged pictures. So for example, let me show you this. So for example, let's go. I uh, I've been here uh, in this uh, place with this amazing open pit, and then uh, I couldn't locate this picture how should I so where is this exactly uh, I don't know maybe I forget or I want to send this to someone and uh, and sh show him exactly where, it, where uh, did they take this uh, picture so what should I do so let me show you how do you know that a picture is actually geotagged and there's coordinates inside of it so all you have to do is to right click and go uh, let me go to the uh, folder let me go to this unknown place for example and we go to properties and if we go to details if you scroll down you'll notice that there's GPS we have latitude and longitude these are the coordinates so how can we explore these coordinates inside QGIS actually there is a plugin for that so to install a third-party plugin all you have to do is to go to plugins and choose manage and install plugins and then the plugin is called import photos so you can type in that in here make sure that you are in all in here not installed or not in, not in install of course you can be here if it's not already installed and then click on this one and install the plugin now we need internet access in order to get the uh, files from the internet for the software to install this plugin and now it is installed and I close this you'll notice a small icon in here so this looks like with the 
with the camera and there's an arrow above it this looks like we can import the photos so let's go and import the photos so we can see that we have a small pop-up window here so it says input folder location so let's say that you have multiple pictures you don't have to import that one by one all you have to do is to locate that folder and it's going the the plugin is going to import all the geotagged photos let's click on browse and let me go to desktop and QGIS uh, here at Grasberg that's actually uh, what it is and let me go and select that folder and uh, this is where where it is actually located now let me go here again to that same location and this is where I want to save the shape files that this uh, plugin is going to uh, create let me call this shapes and click on save and now if you have a style uh, a style is actually the way these shape file are displayed so you can save the way they are displayed as a style file and if you're interested I can make a video about uh, you know file uh, shape file styles so and uh, you can leave that as an empty if you don't have one and click on OK and you can see here since we have only one photo you can set uh, you can see that we have one photo added without error and uh, one photo uh, skip because of missing location because I have two photos and you can see that zero uh, photos skip because in Canva extend so we have only one geotagged photo and it was imported successfully let's click on OK and now you can see that we have this photo here and these are the coordinates of the photo now if we go and use for example uh, a nursery imagery base map or Google satellite base map we drag that in here on the bottom and now let's wait a little bit because this needs to have internet access in order to view that and you can see the location the exact location of that image is actually here and we are looking at the Grasberg mine this is actually in Indonesia so this is really useful we know now where that picture was uh, taken and if you have multiple you know pictures you can just go and double click on this one this is actually the the uh, image and that's actually how you geolocate an image but now I actually cheated so this image I've downloaded it from the internet and it was not actually uh, you know uh, geotagged but I used a online website that allowed me to you know geotag images so let's go and take a look at that it is actually called tool.geoimagear.com all you have to do is to drag and drop you know your image here and then locate where is that image and then click on write exif tags and download and it's gonna be just you know the the coordinates of this location are going to be inserted into the metadata of the image and the image is going to be geotagged so that's another thing so if you want to add the coordinates to a location to that image so this is how you do it you just uh, insert an image in here import it to here and locate the image then all you have to do is to click on write exif uh, tags and then download the geo tag image so that's it that's how to create it so if you like these kind of tips and tricks uh, in QGIS and how to solve these common problems uh, we already have a course you can take a look at that uh, course I will leave the link in the description we already have also other uh, courses that goes through some mining packages and you know mapping tools so make sure to check them out and let me know if you're interested in any of these courses or also if you have any other questions related to this software or anything else uh, put them in the comments below and I make sure to answer every single one of these questions so uh, that's it for today's video. See you in another video and uh, don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.